Yo, 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 how's it going? Today we're playing Kiwi. This is such a cute character and I have to say it's so different. We start with 0.50 damage, which is absolutely nothing. The point of this character is to actually play using different damage methods, such as Vada Retro and Purgatory. So those will be our main damage sources, unless we find something crazy in here. Holy water, wow! Such an odd item, honestly, not bad. As a start, with my little damage, I think I will make good use of this, and we even get a library. So far, so good. It even starts with 6 HP. All soul hearts, even though he can gain normal red hearts, so that's not gonna be that big of a deal. I have a key, I could go into the library straight away. I'd like to see how this plays first though. Got a couple more rooms done, see if I can manage to find the boss. But the retro is not so easy to use because the range of the little thing is, are, is not that big. But I do still deal quite a good amount of damage. Also, I'd like to say that tonight I might be streaming on Twitch. I don't know if I will- wow, what is that explosion? I don't know if I will, because as I'm recording this, it is 6am and I'm about to go to sleep again properly, because I'm very, very, very tired. If I do wake up in time, if I manage to put everything out in the right timing, I will do it. So make sure to stay tuned by joining my Discord server. In the meantime, we have Buku Judges. I think that's a modded item. So I'll not look at that. I want something nice, though. Is anything in here worth a key? I'd say since we don't deal that much damage, Necronomicon might be more useful than anything else. Plus, maybe a secret over here. See if I'm right, no. Oh well, waste of a bomb, but it was better to try than not. Where is my purgatory effect? Should we kill a bunch of them? I'll get them into the Vada Retro and then explode him. Give me all those kills. One more? Thank you very much. So far so good. Just the first boss to deal with. I've never fought a boss with this character, so I don't know how much damage I'll be able to deal. I'll try my best. Try to explode the Vada Retros. Fantastic. So far we're doing great and oh god, this amount of damage from the book. Yes, that is literally saving us right now. Oh look at that, that's massive actually. We got a tears up, not a damage up. I honestly don't know what kind of item I will want. Usually if you have high damage, you will look for shot speed, and if you have high shot speed and no damage, you'll look for the other. But in this case, I don't really know if I want to look at something to begin with. So I just want more items that give me more stuff to kill with. Maybe the sacrificial dagger or any orbital like that? Or spirit's ward. I think spirit's ward might be a play. We'd have to see though. I'm very tempted to go into that challenge room, but I had to have to waste all of my soul hearts. If we can drop some more into the floor, I'll give it a go. In the case that does not happen, I will be forced to just continue in my path, or I can just risk it and play the whole game with 1 HP. Let's see what we have in here in the meantime. Oh yes, babies! Okay, I forgot about this, but babies can actually help our run a lot. Big thinking right there. I completely forgot they exist and then they could do stuff. So, not bad. The boss is pinned. This should be literally no big deal. There we go. He's already dead. Wow! And I'm not gonna go devil, I'm actually gonna go angel. I should have done the sacrifice room earlier if I wanted to go angel. Oh well, whatever. We may be able to do it next floor. I have to say that out of all the modded concepts, a second library bookworm, let's go! Out of all the character concepts that I've seen in the years, this one is actually pretty nice. And why do I have Rostin baby? He just spawned on me? Alright, welcome to the family, man. He's a baby overall, so this is a very good family. If only I could get good use of my item and pull up something insane off of this let yeah okay that was nice that was hella nice i wonder can temperance be destroyed by my little things i don't think object can object of any kind maybe poops but that's about it so far though we're doing pretty good kind of underestimated how powerful this could be i'm not using bad retro as much as i should probably yeah, i got hit but i'm dealing a good amount of damage regardless and wow that's a lot of hp i cannot use that's sad unless money equal power. Why am I getting all this steel item? This is, I have so many devil items for an angel item from the treasure rooms, which I mean, it's fantastic. Oh, wait. I just realized this character cannot get damage ups whatsoever, even if you pick them up and there is a heart that is in questionable shapes. Interesting. I still don't get what that heart is. We'll call it a ghost heart in order to avoid calling it anything else. And yeah, I do not get damage ups. So I'm pretty curious. I don't know what it does. I'm just going to pick it up. It infected one of my normal hearts, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything else outside of that. Got a golden key, might as well check the shop and oh, hive mind plus discount, yeah. This is a powerful, powerful pickup. If only I could get BFF now, that will be the ultimate combo killer. I don't know if Rotten Baby is gonna stay there. I still don't understand where I got it from, and I lost that fantastic heart. I'll never know what it was. Adoption paper. You know what? Adoption paper is a very good trinket. 
I can buy more familiars with this. And a very easy fight. Oh, fantastic. Let me get away from that explosive tier, though. Let me abuse all of my active, passives, and whatsoever. Demolish this boss. Get the stapler. Oh, I cannot use this. Get me out. I, I want some damage ups, but this character literally cannot have it. And now I guess I'm on the hunt for coins. That's all I, ha I can look for. Maybe we will get luckier this floor. But now that I think of it, there is nothing that the angel can give me that is so exciting. Maybe the wafer. Because the thing is, Sacred Heart is good. Yes, it's good because of the Oming, apparent, but most of it comes from the damage up. And I cannot take that now. Oh, that's kind of sad. I just realized that and I'm not happy with that. But who knows? Maybe I'll be surprised. Maybe something will happen. And I did not mean to use that card. I mean to use my pocket active. Because I will not be able to... Oh, listen, I'm already weak enough. I, I don't feel like I need Ludovica technique. I'm pretty weak right now. Okay, man, I'm already struggling on my own, and you want to throw me even worse stuff? Like, come on, give me a break. I'd like to go and visit shops now, though. I still am still taking way too much damage. But yeah, if I could visit a shop, I could probably find something nice. I don't know if they sell deal babies. I don't think so. So imagine you walk into a shop and there is a twisted pair for 10 pennies. I'll still give it a try. I have some money in some rooms that I can take. So not a big problem whatsoever. I cannot access that, unfortunately. But all right, so far so good. Let me walk in here and walk out. Scared of these spikes. I only have one key so I cannot open that. I guess I could open this, but I also want to open the shop. Unless we get something nice out of here, that's interesting. That's super interesting, but again, it takes one key to do that. Okay, I'll think about it. I'll get the first shop and then I'll think about it. In the meantime, let me go on to my purgatory. Sales-wise, I'm never gonna kill anything out here. All right. If you spam purgatory well enough, it kind of works. But if you don't, you're kind of left alone by yourself. Not so easy, let's say. But it's so good. We are god gamers. We literally don't need anything else outside of the shop. I will not lie. The shop is something I might need. And I've got hit on a very shady tier over there. I need to get rid of this mushroom as fast as possible, and I'm simply not able to. Please be- No! It's the greed fight! Okay, now I really need to rely on this. I need to heavily rely on that. Nice! That's even more pennies for the next floor, though. I have two more floors where I can abuse shop. I'm gonna save up these two keys. We can get something nice out of it. Use them when it's really needed and get something powerful. This floor is also massively big. What the hell is going on? Oh no, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I tried my best. Already about to die. I really don't want to die. I'm so far into the run. All of this effort and yet I'm still taking a massive amount of damage. Oh, I forgot what boss I was fighting. I don't know why I didn't think about it. And there he goes. I'm half time is about to come for me, but I will not accept defeat. This guy though, at the same time, he's doing nothing. Man, it's not getting frozen. He's not taking a lot of damage. It should be the last battle. Retro, let's go. It's done. I don't get an HP up in here, but please, I beg. Okay. Okay, a shield. This is honestly a horrible, horrible item. And I'm even supposed to fight the angel. Do I do it? Yeah, okay. I have the shield. I can risk this. I just have to hope that I can freeze them. Apparently not. I'm gonna have to rely on my thing very, very heavily here. No way of getting any battle retro using this boss fight. And where is that spawning? Why is it spawning all the way into the corner? Come on, man. Let me out. Let me have a break. Okay, keep his one. I'm not gonna risk it. I don't wanna risk it for the keep his two. I actually need HP now. Let's go. Dunk steps two. I can start by killing that little guy. Oh, I wasted a bomb. Well, I can start by not killing that guy. At least I regained it. I don't know if I should go in the shop before going into the treasure room, to be honest. I might not want to. And oh, damn, that attract is scary. Just die. No, 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 no. Oh, how am I alive? I somehow am, and I'm not gonna complain. D10? Okay, some... Like, this is good. But is it as good as dealing damage with an Necronomicon? I don't think so. Devolving enemies is nice, but it's not as nice as killing them before they can do anything. Maybe something that will go well with this character is speed. If I were to find something that gives me speed, I'd be very happy. But coming to think about it in general, I'm realizing that maybe devils were not so bad. He cannot last too long, though. And this should be secret. This time using my bomb effectively to get something. Oh, super greed. Wait, does this mean we cannot find him in the shop? I hope so. If that's the case, then I'm very happy to fight you for once in a while. Come on, boy. Oh, golden penny even? All right. This might be the chance that we get to fix our match. There we go. Shop is over here. Moment of truth. I need to get rid of these two boys. Kind of scary. There's a charge key and... Oh, it does. It hella does. Wow. Now we deal one damage. Is it good? No. But will I take it? Hell yeah. 
Said that my dance music doesn't work, but I am so happy to be at least 0.5% stronger now. I'm gonna use this to kill everything alive right now. What is it that is actually making a trail of tears behind me? Is it something from the character? Because I don't think I have anything about it. And then I need a bomb because there is a tinted rock I really, really want to get. I thought it would be multiple ones that you could buy. I guess not, but I'm very happy with the one I got. One of the best financial decisions I've ever made on Isaac behind gambling. But definitely one that I'm going to take. This guy is the guy, last guy alive in this room. Come on, man. Let me go forward. Let me get into the boss fight. Damn, they last a while. Okay. This is also a modded item, by the way. Not what I would have expected. And I don't believe to have enough HP to do this. Sadly, I do not have the HP to do that. I would have been so high. Oh, no, right, because I cannot even take the damage up. Well, never mind then. It doesn't even matter. This is one of those rooms where the Necronomicon will become very helpful. But sadly, I do not have the chance to use it. Now I do. I'm going to save it on the boss. Hopefully, we get something nice out of it. I did not manage to freeze it somehow. All right, let's combo him with this, which dealt nothing. That did absolutely no damage. How is that possible? I need a better source of damage. I don't know what to get and what could ever do it. And I even need him to jump because he's sitting right on where my Vyderator is. It is not going too well. But we're actually doing some good damage. We made it. Made it, no problem. Still no HP up. I'll skip this devil. I don't think looking at it like that counts. Well, I have a total of 1 HP. This is the sad reality. I have the total of 2 HP. Let's go. I don't know if this will ever be worth it because I'm like going to face 2 ragmans with my situation is not the best. And where is Vader Retro? Yo, I cannot use Vader Retro. Uh, guys, that might be a bit of a problem. I'm in a pickle here. Gonna try my best to save up this little thing so that I can use it on the next boss. Don't know what it's gonna be, but I'm gonna need it 100%. Uh, yeah, there it is. I dealt some decent damage. I'd like to get them to roll over here. It worked on once, and oh damn, I missed my other one. <gasps> no, 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 stay away. He did hit me. How? This guy's faster than I am. I truly need speed now. Oh god, we somehow survived this. I got an HP up, but not the way I wanted to get it, because I now lost my main one. RIP, very sad decision. It paid off in a way, but kind of took off of me in another. All I need, though, is one, and I mean one good shop. One good shop could go a long, long way. Or a D4 in here. Uh, that's not exactly a D4. Still two minutes into boss rush. Wait a second. Okay, maybe taking this is a lot better. If they were to make it like that, if even the enemies step on the battle retro, it will take effect. This will be so much better and so much more usable. I don't know if you can program that though. I don't know, I'm not that big into modding. I'm big into using mods, not into making them. So I might be saying something that is not even possible, but I do feel like that's a good idea. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that that's decent? Or am I just saying something that doesn't make sense? I'll try to explode that one. Where on earth is my shop? Cool, I, I have found this. I'm still missing my main goodies. Let me have a look. What do you have? Yo, is this gonna be an apple of thingy? Uh, yes. Wait, can I use this? No, I can't. I mean, it does give me some stat up on other things. And I did get an HP up from that. So overall, not bad. But still, uh, still could have been a lot, lot nicer. Yes, give me the soul heart. I'm finally regaining my HP back. Right now, the freeze effect is kind of carrying me. And <gasps> yo, I have a new modded item. Sibling Revelry. Orbital that switches between two different states every 15 seconds. Two orbital that quickly rotate around Isaac. One orbital that rotates slower and closer to Isaac and periodically shoots teeth in random directions. All orbitals block enemy shots and do contact damage. Yeah, I do need that. Now, we'll take this as well. I can assure you this is gonna damage me at some point, but I'll take it. And look at these two guys. Look at them going around me fighting. This is literally how Jacob and Isu feels like. I feel like these buddies can actually carry my run. Now, I don't know how much contact damage they deal. I feel like their strongest form is them when they shoot teeth. But right now, they're separated. Oh, never mind. They're back back into fighting but when they're separated i feel like they're not as strong oh they protected me they just shielded me they literally just saved my life plus my normal shield kind of getting a good combo out of it now it is true that money equals power because money is what no all my stats especially my speed all gone to waste never mind i should not speak sometimes at least i'm ready for the boss fight I want to see how little damage I deal with that. Wow. That was absolutely nothing, guys. I need to be able to freeze her with a uh, holy water, but hitting her is so hard. That's the thing. Ouch. Okay, I did pull up the holy water. I just need her to stomp on me right now. There we go. It happened. I just need to proc the holy water. If I can proc the holy water, this is done for. There we go. She's stomping. Oh, what? She's not stopped. And even the BFF. But she's dead. I've taken so much damage. I don't know how. But now I finally have the HP to go in there and... Uh, 
This is horrible. I'm never going to use anything out of here. I uh, no, no, I'm definitely not going to take anything in there. Scarlet Vu moment. We can at least enjoy the character a little more now. We can chill with our boss fights. And we can showcase the power of friendship thanks to my new little buddies. I honestly don't think there is anything that could make this character good. Contrary to most characters, by the way, because, like, you can fix most characters. This one you just can't. Like, in a room like this, how am I supposed to use Vida Retro? How are you supposed to use anything, actually? And, oh, damn, didn't have enough knockback. I'm trying to abuse it as much as possible, but it's literally being super duper hard. Maybe I could use bombs. I kind of forgot about using bombs. Please, please do not hit me. Oh, yo, 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 way too much stuff around. Get off me, get off me. All right, B bedside queen. That spawns one to 12 keys. All right, wow. That's one, one hell of an offer. Now, am I going the right way to get to the boss room? I hope so. There we go, we are going the right way. This might be super secret. And in case it is, and in case it has something incredibly good, oh, yo, this has potential. Maybe, maybe even more power out of this question mark. I'll try to push the two chests together. Let's give it a go. Bomb in the middle, give me something nice. No, just more pickups. It's okay, we tried. We tried to get something good out of there. And oh god, this is a boss that has mini mi minions. That's good. Minions are actually helpful now. This cool combo up and give me something nice. Wait, enemies that are killed by my buddies do not give me actual stuff. Yo, yo, that's a lot of stuff. What is this becoming? Oh god, the explosion I just dealt. Oh, uh, this is dangerous. He's somehow dead. How am I alive off of this? I do not deserve to be alive in this moment. And I even got a devil deal with 12%. I hope in something good. Oh, this is horrible. It's a tears up that one, but for one HP, this is horrible, horrible. Also, while we do go to fight the fight, oh, all that happened. Also, while we go to fight the final boss, I'd like to ask you a question since you guys are my fans. If I'm going to live stream tonight, would you be down to watch me play Ultra Kill as well as Isaac? Because in that case, I might buy the game and just try the full thing. I'd stream Isaac for like one or two hours. Not a big streamer, and it does get tiring. I have to say, streaming is not as easy as many people believe. At least if you want to try and get a good retention, like it's very hard to speak the whole time, and RIP is my deal. Even with retrovision now, this is going worse every second that passes. I need one red heart. Should have probably gone back to take it. I might make it too harsh, which makes this much nicer. But I don't know if it does. Soul of Apollyon, yes, please carry me. I need this to carry me, like, very, very heavily. This has to carry me right now like I carry my teammates on Rainbow Six Siege. Elsewise, I'm gonna be dead. Might explode this and get in something good out of it. HPs? No, just money. What am I gonna do with money? I don't even know if I can reach harsh. I'm gonna spend them. I need to move if I wanna make it. I have less than two minutes and, well, boss is not here. I think this is it. No way for me to actually make it into the boss without dying. That was a super insane spam. Or, I mean fast enough at least <gasps> yo i actually got quality stuff inside this room i am back alive my heartbeat is no longer racing and we can finally progress without being afraid of everything i was the wrong room so i might just as well try a different path it seemed to be the wrong one anyway so not like it changed anything or that much less than an amino on the clock we are definitely not making it to us that's sad i'll be very surprised if we make it into the fight in two minutes to be honest i i've gone so far and yet i've not found it it's just my usual luck i have to say that's how it it always is for me. It's sad because I wanted a shop. Maybe if I can get the fight in 30 seconds or less, I could pull up something. But how will they go on about it? I have to really try now. Come on, I have 10 seconds to make this fight. I don't think this is gonna happen, guys, I'll be honest. I don't think there's anything that makes me do damage. Like, yeah, I'm just stuck in this boss fight. I could have, like, I made it here in time, but there's nothing else that made me do anything. Maybe I should have used bombs. That's kind of misplayed by me. Yo, that, th if that came in play two seconds sooner, that would have been insane. I'll even chuck a bomb in there. No, my deal. My deal and my HP. Yo, I don't know how that happened. We got a delirium portal. You know what, guys? We are crazy enough. We'll do it. If I cannot go to Hush, I'll go straight to the final boss. Just show him who's boss here and get it done with. Now, this might be actual secret. If I am right, I deserve an award. I deserve something. There is absolutely nothing in here, but I deserve something. And these guys are poking off every single bomb they've been trying to place for the past five minutes. They're kind of not being that helpful, but they're still my baby, so I can not complain about it. Why are you getting inflated? Chill. I seriously don't know if I'll make it to the final boss. I'll try my best, though. Vada Retro actually being more useful than I thought it would ever be. I also need to remember to use bombs, but yeah, I feel like the worst fact about this character is definitely the speed, even over the damage. Because if you don't deal a lot of damage, but you can move fast, it's still doable. 
this guy. This guy is just not. He is the combo of the two worst aspects that you could miss off on the game. Speed and damage. If you have low on both, it's going to be a big, big problem. PBF also kind of carrying, I'll be honest. Thankfully, at the very least, one of these champions might be able to spawn me a heart, but they didn't. Come on. Be at least like 1% merciful or something. I'm trying my hardest and you're simply not... I'm trying my hardest and you're simply not rewarding me. It's just this champion. I'm trying my hardest and you're simply not rewarding me. Come on, it's just this champion left and that skeleton. I did not need to forget about it. Way scarier than it seems. If I could make something about this. Oh, okay. I don't even know if I'll make it to Delirium. Okay, why are they all champion? It's like the unluckiest seed possible. All of my YouTuber luck has been used so far. And now I'm left with nothing. If this is Delirium, no, okay. Though this is an extra item, there is a chance that it is good. Maybe, maybe we get something out of this. We get a HP up and tears down. Didn't we even get a speed up with Binky because he gets smaller? I guess not. Kind of a disappointment, but I might be about the speed up. Short speed up, I mean. Instantly lost my HP bonus. But it is what it is. Where is my other retro? Let's go. Come on, buddy. Show them how it's done. Okay, now I'm kind of clocking into it. Bit late to do it, but better late than ever, right? That's how they say. Maybe an item need. <gasps> yes, a speed up! I'm winning this. Now I'm winning this with 1.0 damage and absolutely no speed whatsoever. I'm actually gonna do it. Even though any kind of hit will actually put me to sleep. Kind of like Iron Mike, and I really don't want to know how it feels. Having this low damage, I'll be honest, it's kind of insane. No, that thing explodes. Okay, thanks to that, it didn't. I was kind of worried I was getting into forced damage over there, but luckily it didn't happen. So yeah, the thing over here with Battle Retro is that you're supposed to spam them over and over from killing and killing with them and spawning more. I guess that's how it's going so far at the very least. Demon form, what on earth is this card? And does this even work? It does not. Sad because it looked like an interesting card, but I cannot use it apparently. Any kind of damage up is negated by this guy. This might legit be Delirium though, which somewhat scares me. Somewhat I'm kind of accepting my fate. And it is not. So we're still chilling over here. Still in the good. Hey man, why are you running so fast? Cannot even attack this guy. He's eventually gonna shoot the big thing. I love if my BFF actually did something over here. But it's just off path. We're done with him. And we got magic skin? Really? And I'm forced to carry it because elsewise every single item is gonna be magic skin. Okay, absolutely the worst item I could have found. Didn't know that was gonna happen. And if I don't get a single good item and I'm actually gonna lose my run, I might just as well use it, right? I feel like that makes sense. Let's see, let's see. Bobby Bomb. I don't want to use it until I get onto the last fight because elsewise I might just die prematurely. So far I'm lasting way longer than I should. Okay, now I use this. Belly Jelly. Okay, somewhat all right. Maybe an HP up. No explosive diarrhea. Get out. I'm getting possible deaths from all over. Where on earth is Delirium? I want to have the piece. I know that I'm not gonna win Delirium. I am fully aware of that. Ne hey yo, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm live on Twitch right now, so come follow me like and subscribe, and I wish you all the best.